Beautiful Location in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands Rose Island View Part 3 In Ross Island people can see the ruins of buildings built during British period. Ruins of church, printing press, government offices, powerhouse, tennis court, bakery, pond etc. can be seen. A museum called Samruthika is being maintained by Navy in this island. Some old photographs, documentary and photocopies of letters regarding the Ross Island are displayed. A graveyard of Britisher surrounded by coconut palm trees is also available here. People can also visit the beaches located at the other side of the island by walk. Fearless deers and peacocks are found in the island. The island is full of coconut and palm trees. There are so many places in the island for the visitors to sit and relax. Public are not allowed to stay on this island, and the island must be vacated by all tourists before evening 5 in the evening as it comes under the forest reserve and there are no available options to stay there. Photography is not allowed from the front part of the island as it is considered as a secured place. Also, people should not take photos while approaching the island. They have to take tickets for all kind of cameras at the entry of the island and are free to take photographs inside the island. A small shop is available in the island for snacks only. A maximum of two hours is sufficient to cover all the places in Ross Island. People can spend more time visiting the beaches at the other side of the island. Use of plastic items and disposing is prohibited. Swimming is allowed only near Samritika. At the entry, an amount of Indian rupee 20 is to be paid for any camera tourists willing to carry along with them inside the Ross Island. No, that you'll take it.